Hey there. Welcome back to Greenhorn by Feather and Hive. We got an interesting one for you here today. Our sprinkler system went out. The pump that pulls the water from the lake behind us, uh, she died. She was about 20 to 25 years old and uh, finally called it quits. So we tried everything. We tried hitting it, smacking it, tossing it, nothing. So we're going to have to improvise, temporarily at least. So today we're just going to use one of those simple uh, sprinkler heads, that, the fans that just rotate back and forth. You probably jumped through them as a kid, but now we're going to use them to keep this baby alive. But we're also going to drop this sucker down a few levels. Right now we have it really high, so those blades aren't cutting very low to the ground. It's, it's sitting up, so, so we're only getting kind of the top part of it, top quarter I'd say. So we're going to drop that down and we're going to show you how to do that too. These, these Scott's reel mowers are pretty easy to use. It's not that, not that intricate. To, to raise and lower the, the blades. You really just use a roller system on the backside that lifts or drops the, drops the whole frame of the, of the mower. So we're gonna walk you through that as well. All right, so we got this thing turned over. And we're gonna walk you through it right here. It's pretty simple. There's a roller system on the back. And I say system just because that's the first word I thought of, but it's really just a steel rod with two individual rollers on it. This determines the, the height that you are from the ground versus the blade of the real mower. So we want to lower it. So it's a little inverse thinking here. You want to bring the rollers towards you a little bit so that's up if you're staring at the real mower as it stands up straight. So you want the rollers to come up this way so the whole frame drops. So let's give this a shot real quick. It's pretty simple. On both sides, you have a few pieces. You've got a black block here with three slots. On the frame, there's a matching three slots as well to go wherever you want. And now it's just a little square head screw with some with a slotted washer so that it slides on to the black block very easily. We're going to loosen up both ends and get this thing free. So right now it's on the bottom slot of the frame and the bottom slot of the block. So again we want to raise the rollers. So we're going to bring, we'll keep it on the bottom slot, why not? Just keep it simple. Keep it on the bottom slot of the block that raise the whole system, the whole system, if I can get it off, there we go, raise the whole system. You know what, let's be agreed, let's, let's be aggressive here. We're going to bring it to this top slot of the green frame. Now again, since our irrigation system, this might be dumb of me, but since our irrigation system is struggling right now, we want to make sure this thing is watered right after this to let it, let it heal up and grow. We might only do one pass, so we're just going to tighten this back down again. And, and be sure that both sides are equal, so you get an even cut of the grass. So tighten that one down. Get this one all taut and straight. There we go. Now tighten this down. Like I said, we want to be cautious of what we're doing here, so we're only going to do one pass to start. And if it's cutting real nice like butter, and this is a Scott's real mower, so it probably will. We'll go, by, we'll, we'll go diagonal in both ways to do the double pass. If it's pulling up grass, we might only do one, but we're still gonna make sure this thing is watered afterwards. So we're gonna have a little cigar, a little Perdomo champagne while we do this. Won it off a golf bet, so why not celebrate and mow the lawn while we're outside. So here we go, let's give it a shot. And just as we su suspected, this thing is cutting like butter. So we are going to do a double pass diagonal in both directions. This has got me really excited, but again, we're going to water the heck out of this thing right afterwards to make sure it, it starts to heal up. Now we're pretty lucky to have the, uh, the water source that we do here in Ohio, really in all of the Midwest almost. There's, there's a ton of fresh water sources and, and we also have great weather. We have a lot of rain, so that, that helps us out with our consumption. So we're going to keep that, keep mindful of that as well. But we want to make sure this thing has enough juice to, to keep growing through the night and through the hot days. It's getting really humid here right now. Mid 80s, high 80s, and, and beating down sun on this grass. But like we said, this is a temporary fix. We're going to let this go for about 20 to 30 minutes in each spot. We'll probably move it two or three times on the space just to make sure we have even, even coverage. But again, it's temporary. we got to get the other thing fixed. The sprinkler is just so much more efficient. So thanks for joining us here at Greenhorn. We hope to see you soon.